Crafty Chef Diamond here. I am back and I had a fabulous time at the Del Rey Turkey Trot and uh, it was great. Um, I started the race a little late and uh, you know, you get a little nervous before you start and I had to go to the bathroom <laughs> and the race already started and then they were saying, hey, there's no, I mean, the the line to the porty potty was like tenfold deep. And then somebody said, hey, there's no line in the school. Go ahead and go in the school. So I ran to the school. And so uh, I did my, I had to do what I had to do and got off running. Um, it was cold a little bit. It was windy. And uh, once you get into that first mile, that first mile is, is rough. And then after that, you're on autopilot and you just have, I had a great time. I was on target. I did really well. I follow the, while I'm in training, I follow the Galloway running system. So I actually, I ran straight for two minutes, um, fast walk for one minute. And just once you get into that fold of just doing it, um, I had a great time. I think I had a good time um, in between uh running in between, uh, what do you call it? Uh, baby strollers, dogs, because I was at the, I was at the back of the bus and I was trying to get into the middle of the bus. And, um, I had a great time though. Um, and the first person coming in the first male, I think was at 40, 49 minutes. Um, female was at maybe 50 minutes. Um, I completed my run in um, one hour and two minutes. So yeah, I did. I I was proud of myself, and I ran a um, twelve minute uh, mile, twelve minute uh, pace per mile. Does that make sense? All right. <laughs> Anyways, I had fun. They even had beer. People were handing out beer. Man, I gulped down two. Uh, Dixie cups of beer, did a good belch and kept kept going, kept going. I stopped twice for water and it was great. So this is the t-shirt that you receive. And um, I actually, I ordered a long sleeve cotton shirt, but they, they were gone. There were so many people in this uh, uh, turkey trot, uh, but I had a great time. I had a wonderful time. So I'm finally now getting ready to show you my Randall Spangler, but I wanted, I have a couple of chef notes and, um, if all of you, uh, Snuggie's Crafting Corner, if you guys could go to her channel, she is going to start an event. It's called hashtag love for all things. You can do any painting. Um, the minimum size is 30 by 40. It is a sponsored event and she will have weekly giveaways. Um, it doesn't have to be a new start. Um, basically, uh, from what I understand, um, having a conversation with Snuggy, uh, she's had a lot of things go on and she's ce celebrating her wedding anniversary and um, she had some losses in her family. And so um, she wanted to create an event for love of all things. She does have a Facebook group and she will be making um, more, she, more post on her, uh, event. Uh, I believe it's for the month of December. And, uh, she is asking that if you do join in her event, that you do a progress report weekly. I believe you need to put that on Facebook. Um, or if you have a channel, you can post it on your, uh, your YouTube channel. Um, she doesn't, as long as you have one drill down, for the weekly progress, you know, so hopefully you would have one more drill than that. Uh, so, uh, so if you guys are interested in that, please go visit Snuggie's Crafting Corner and she will be linked down below. And here's another creator. I would like everybody to go visit Scarlett's Little Crafting Corner. Uh, Scarlett had to open up another channel and uh, she enjoys and loves her crafts and she is also uh working with amazon and she is an influencer for amazon 
And I feel like every time I watch her um, Amazon videos, I'm in the Shark Tank. And uh, she's she's doing some amazing work over there for Amazon. And she's showing different products. And uh, she's having a ball. And she needs your support right now. And so I'm going to link both of her channels down below. Uh, she, for her crafting channel, she does a lot of... Um, PR packages. She enjoys working on miniature um, houses, rooms. I watch a few of her videos on that and it's just amazing the work that she does on that. And uh, so she wanted to keep her love of her diamond painting and crafts separate from Amazon. So um, the second channel is Scarlet's True Review, Review and that's going to be your Amazon. And it's fun. Go visit her, guys. So I just want to thank everybody for um, coming back and joining me with on my channel. Now you have to remember, sometimes my mind works faster than what comes out of my mouth. I need to slow down. But um, I just want to thank everybody. And this is a great journey. I can't believe this. It's, it's time to go shopping for Black Friday. I hope everybody has all their selections of what they are going to get. I have a few in my written down in my notes. And uh, I can't wait till Black Friday gets here. All right. Uh, but again, I just want to say thank you. Um, another little thing before I get started. Um, I am working on... Now, of course, my book is falling apart. I am working on um, a diamond painting, and it's really big. I can't bring it up here in my craft room. I'm going to wait till I get a good portion of it done before I show anybody, but it's a 90 by 65. It's a Thomas Kincaid. I purchased it at uh, from the UK store Craft Buddy, and it's called The Spirit of Christmas. And um, I am... It is so big. Let's see if I can show you a picture here. All right, this is the picture, but I am working on it this way. So it's I, it's sitting on my table this way because I have to work my way down this way. I'm almost finished with this whole area right here, and the shine is just amazing. Um, but I will get further, give you further details on it as I finished completing it. So what my game plan is, is I'm going to work all the way around this way and this way and then do the middle area. Yeah, so that's a great project. Um, it's going along really well and some of the diamonds are a, little, are a little wonky and I'll explain that in another video. Okay, without further ado, Let's get going. And again, I just want to thank everybody uh, who has joined my channel and who has continued to follow um, with my crazy craftiness here. All right. I hope everybody's ready for their Thanksgiving meal and they're having a great time with it. Um, I enjoy being in the kitchen. Um, not so much at home. I enjoy it at my job. <laughs> Uh, by the time I get home, I'm, I'm like wiped out. All right. So I'm going to zoom you guys out here. All right. What am I going to show you guys today? This is a Randall Spangler. It is called home is home is where the magic is. And it's a castle. I love castles. You have to have a huge castle, uh, to put all those dragons in there or I forgot the, how they call it. Anyways, one reason why I like Randall Spangler so much is that he has whiz, whimsical artwork. And one of my game plans for Randall Spangler um, diamond paintings, I have quite a few, is to put them, display some of them in the library at the school. Um, he focuses a lot of his stuff around reading books and and the dragons are learning and everything. Uh, I just, I just really enjoy his artwork. So this is by Diamond Art Club. It is a square. This is what the box looks like. You have all seen these before, but we do have some new viewers out there. On the back side, gives you some uh, tips and tricks. Tells you what's uh, the contents that are in the box. When you unbag or take your canvas out of the box. 
it's in a dust sleeve. I keep my, all of mine, I put them all back original just the way it came in uh, from uh, the supplier. We have some beautiful drills here. If this was a smaller kit, I would open them up for you guys, but mm -mm, I'm not. I'm just going to let you see the beautiful colors. There's a lot of purples. Just so many beautiful, beautiful colors. Put it up there close so you guys can see. I did I did pluck out the ABs so you could see that. What is the AB? They call it Aurora Borealis. It's your northern lights. And it gives a little sparkle and shine on your canvas. Your bag of diamonds is labeled. So if you... Uh, store them separately. I don't sort store mine separately. So they are, everything's going right back in the box, but it has your canvas code right here. The name of the canvas. These are the ABs that are going to be in this painting. So we have 141, which is a beautiful white. 125. It's kind of from the camera. It's kind of like a what a very pale I don't know it's got green in it I don't know the name for the 125 and then we have 129 which is a very light yellow put this off to the side all of your kits will come with a thank you I'm not going to go through it uh, if you ever decide to purchase a diamond art club you can, it has everything you need to know, discount codes, how to do your diamond painting. Then you get a little sticker. You cannot see the castle very well. Uh, you can put this on the end of your box in your, uh, if you log down all of your um, projects in a book. And then here's a bigger one. It has all your symbols on it has your start date, your end date, the title, the uh, the artist's name. This is a 60 by by 70 centimeters. Here is your SKU number. Here are all your symbols that you're going to need to make this canvas come to life. These all peel off. I go by symbols. I keep the numbers on there, but I do go by symbols. Some people go by numbers, some people go by symbols. It's whatever you're comfortable with. You get a nice little toolkit. Let's see if I can get everything out of here. Okay. A bag of bags. Oh, we get a little cover minder. It's a little flower. That's a that's a newbie for me. A four placer. A seven placer. A pin and squishy. Diamond Art Club tweezers because this is a square. We got some washi tape. You get, they give you plenty. There's plenty enough to use for this particular diamond painting. And you get two plates of wax in a nice little heart-shaped container. Well, this time we got a white tray. So we get a white tray with a little stopper that fits right here at the end. So your diamonds don't fall out. So that is your Diamond Art Club toolkit everything you need to get started i've seen a few people use the toolkit completely on their projects and uh you know that's a great way to start out and then when you are ready uh to upgrade to uh, a diamond painting pin or a special tray yeah but you have everything there to get started let's see this beautiful canvas it's a big one so i'm excited about it there is one more castle I has been out. I didn't get the date of when this was released. Um, a lot of times when things get released, I kind of wait a little while and I mill over it and then I decide, okay, yeah, I want this. Um, there's This one here is like a winter castle, but there's a spring castle. And uh, 
and I believe that's a square too. So I am on the waiting list to receive that castle. So at the very top, you have uh, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. This is a tarpaulin canvas. It's very soft, so it lays down really nice. So we have a butterfly over here. Um, I'm just going to let you guys see it. It's just gorgeous. This one is a wintry scene for me. As I've told you guys before in my videos, I do not tell you where the ABs go because I want to be just as su surprised when I start working on it. When it comes to life and I start putting in the ABs and the sparkleness, you'll see that in a post review. But look at this. Isn't it amazing? The detail, the rendering is just stunning. And this is a raw canvas. Can you wait? Can you imagine when the drills are going to come on it? Wow. Wow. All that beautiful detail. Um, then we're getting into the trees. They even named the castle. And you've got your little sign over here on the light post. You have snowman. Got some folks out here beautiful door. Somebody's looking out of the door. I don't know if you can see that very well. Grandma's looking out. Hey, who's out there? And Grandpa's right here. Their grandson is right there. Then we have a gargoyle, another tree. Um, we got some kids that are ice skating. I think they're ice skating. We got two snowmen right here. I haven't figured out what this is, and I didn't want to really look into the detail. Actually, from here in the camera, it looks like a dead person laying on the, <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Oh, goodness. I think it's a plant. We'll see when it, we'll see when we get started. And you've got all your snowy scenery here. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's a plant coming. That's a plant coming out of the the uh, the brickwork. By the time that you finish working, or I finish working on this canvas, uh, I rounded it up. A hundred and twelve thousand diamonds will be placed on this canvas. Isn't it just gorgeous? All right, and I got you guys zoomed in. Just the detail is amazing. This will definitely go in a frame. It's a nighttime winter castle. So we have a total of 58 colors. That's including your ABs. I told you it was a square. Down below on your canvas, You have your warranty, any problems, get a hold of Diamond Art Club. They will take care of you pronto, right away. Um, I've had a few issues sometimes and they and they respond immediately. Customer service is, is really, really good. Here's all their social media down on the canvas. If you uh, want to go visit their VIP group, they have Instagram, Facebook. And then here is all your information about your canvas. Here's your pasting area, the code of the canvas, the name of the canvas, home is where magic is. You have your regular inches right here, which is 25.6 by 42.1 inches or 65 centimeters by 107 centimeters. I always go by centimeters and it is licensed artwork, uh, three diamond art club, Randall Spangler. So you will have your symbol sheets not your sheet. You'll have symbols on the left and the right side of the canvas. Um, you can either follow a number code. I go by symbols. The symbols look really good. They're nice and clear. Let's see if I can get a close up of the symbols so you can see it. I have never had an issue with Diamond Art Club at all. Everything is, look at the symbols. And there's new symbols in there for me, which is new to me. Maybe not to you guys, but they are new to me. Yeah. 
And so let's see what it looks like underneath the light pad. Oh yeah, it looks really good under the light pad. I love the heart right here. Where am I on the, okay, it's right here. The stained glass windows. Everything looks really, really good on the light pad, guys. This would be something that I'd have to, would have to work on it in small sections because it is squares. Squares always slow me down a little bit. But it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, you guys. It is time for me to go prep some food for my Thanksgiving meal. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day and enjoy your time with your family, your friends. If you're not celebrating um, this special holiday uh, and you're in another part of the world, that's okay. You guys have a great day as well. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys here with this. I really, really enjoy this. I can't wait to get started. Um, I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. This will be fun kidding up. This is a, will be a Randall Spangler that I keep in my collection. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, Crafty Chef Diamond is out. All right, guys, again, you know, uh, before I let you go, go visit Snuggie's Crafting Corner and uh, Scarlet. Again, they will both be linked down below. Scarlet has two channels. One is for Amazon and the other one is her regular crafting channel. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.